Welcome to the Parkinson's Disease Education Show, where we demystify the disease and empower you as the person with Parkinson's disease to reach your true potential. The content contained on this show is for informational purposes only and is not meant to be a replacement for information or advice that you receive from your in-person medical or therapy professionals. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And for an even more personalized experience, please ask us about our memberships. Now, without further ado, let's start the show. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Dr. Michael here for What's Next Wednesday. This is our, uh, for those of you who are new to watching this, this is a stream that I do just to give a little update of what's coming up on our podcast and YouTube channel, and um, particularly, of course, related to Parkinson's disease topics. So if you're here and you're, whether you're new or if you're a repeat uh, repeat offender, so to speak, let me know in the comments if you're here, say hello. I'd like to highlight you and give you a shout out. And there's no, obviously, um, coming to watch this today. Just give a like to the video and you're welcome to stay. Um, the main topic I want to talk about today is the upcoming podcast episode, which, uh, if you don't know, we do polls on our YouTube channel that, um, kind of ask what topics people really want to hear about the most. I've been trying to do this because I definitely don't want to create things that people don't want to watch or learn about. So obviously your input is very important to me. So the polls have been great. I love the participation. This latest one uh, seemed like the most important topic for people that we want to hear about is light therapy and Parkinson's disease. So <clears throat> the medical term for light therapy is photobiomodulation, meaning we're using light to make changes in the biology of our, our body, um, particularly at the cell level. So. Uh, what does that look like exactly? So we're going to talk about that in more detail, obviously, in the upcoming episode. But the main thing that people might think about with photobiomodulation in, is, is red light therapy. So there's a lot of different versions of red light therapy out there. Um, there's the, um, I forget the brand name, is it Symbix Biome? There's, a, <clears throat> there's one that's like a helmet that people can put on. There's red light arrays that you can sit in front of and kind of bathe in the light. There's tabletop, small, portable versions. Um, there's really a big variety, but um, all in all, <clears throat> the purpose of the red light therapy is thought to help with um, managing some of the symptoms of Parkinson's, with whether it's some of the movement issues or non-motor symptoms. So fatigue is one example of a non-motor symptom that really could respond to red light therapy or something similar to it. And um, uh, what was I, I lost my train of thought. So what I was going to say about that was that, um, yeah, so we know in Parkinson's we have mitochondria problems. And it's thought that red light therapy may have some influence on the mitochondria of our cells. So that could improve things like energy level, could improve some of the Parkinson's symptoms because some of the root causes of Parkinson's have to do with the mitochondria of the cells and the nerve cells in the brain that are dying. So, <clears throat> but it's important for the whole body as well. And there's other versions of light therapy out there, uh, not, not the same as red light therapy, but similar principle. Um, and uh, I was going to talk about that more specifically in the upcoming episode, but I will just mention it briefly now. There are light therapies out there that use something as simple as a patch that you wear on the skin that reacts to your own light source. So instead of having a machine putting red light into you <clears throat> or, you know, light arrays bathing you in red light, um, there are, there are some technologies available like a, a simple patch worn on the skin that um, essentially reacts with your own infrared light source. So we all, <clears throat> it's kind of weird to think of because nobody really thinks of people as, having a light source, but we actually really literally have a light source. We just can't see it with our naked eye. So um, if you, most people have heard of infrared cameras. 
The reason you can see a person light up on an infrared camera, the reason that heat signatures show up is because that heat literally is emitting light that's just not visible to our eye. It's similar to a black light. You know, that's that's ultraviolet, right? Is that right? Yeah, that's ultraviolet light. Um, ultraviolet light is not really visible um, until you subject it to certain uh, environment like a, a black light. Um, or the UV light from the sun. We see we see the sun as white light, so we can see visible light. Um, I guess it's yellow and it's multiple colors. We just see visible light. That's the main, main thing is visible light on the light spectrum. We see a visible light and we see the visible light from a light bulb, for example. But we don't see other wavelengths of light like the UV um, and, and infrared. So <clears throat> just think of that. Like we have our own energy source and infrared light could be actually used by the certain technologies to reflect that energy back into the, the nerve cells of the skin that can stimulate things to happen. Um, something really exciting in that area, and I hope is more research is done on, is that there is some uh, evidence to suggest that the um, patches I mentioned actually may stimulate stem cell production within the body. Um, that's not to say Parkinson's would be reversed by wearing a patch. Not, 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 not saying that whatsoever, but some of the symptoms might improve greatly. Um, and so that's something that I want to talk about more in detail. Um, don't see any comments, but uh, I won't keep this, uh, I will keep this brief. I won't make this a long video unless I have some uh, interaction, uh, uh, you know, questions or anything like that that come up. But that is what's going to be the next topic of interest. Something else that I wanted to mention today briefly is that um, I just did an interview with Dr. Jonathan Satner Bernstein. Um, he's the founder of a company called Right Brain Bio, um, and he is about, they're about to enter phase 2A of a trial to develop a medication that uh, may actually reverse Parkinson's or greatly influence that direction of changes in the brain. Um, and it's through dopamine reduction therapy, which sounds counterintuitive because most people with Parkinson's are treated by giving them uh, a dopamine-like medication or something that turns into dopamine in the brain. So we're replacing dopamine, right? <clears throat> but I think you'll be interested to hear what he has to say. Um, I did an interview with him this morning. It was a live interview, and that's available for members of the YouTube channel to watch now, but it will be a public video in the next few weeks. I'll make an announcement on that. Um, <clears throat> so if you want to get a jump on that, find out more, please for the consider joining our memberships and otherwise that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, but it will be a public video and I'll share that as soon as possible and let you know when that's going to be going uh, public. So thanks for being here today watching and um, hope you all are having a great week and have a good rest of your day. I'll wrap things up from here. Be empowered. I'll catch you next time.